Hey guys. So um, I know that I haven't been um, on or done a video in a long time and um, I uh, just stay tuned to the end if you want to, to know uh, why I was away for a while. Um, but I wanted to uh, come back and um, do a review for you on the IT Cosmetics Your Most Beautiful You 6-Piece Set. So um, what I decided to do is as I was reviewing it to actually try the products on, on as I'm um, sharing it with you uh, just so that you could um, kind of get a first-hand view of all of the products right away uh, and uh, maybe make a determination on whether it's something that you would like to get as well. So, yeah, it'll be fun. So stay tuned and we'll go through it. So here's the box, and I kind of already showed it to you. It's a really pretty silver, says it on it, and um, this uh, set is called, it's the It Cosmetics Your Most Beautiful You six-piece set. And uh, let's see on the cover it says, You are love, you are light, you are beautiful, you are one of a kind. You are worthy, you are a miracle, you are what you believe. You are it. So, that's kind of cute. It might be on all of the boxes that they send. I don't know. I don't think I've ever really paid close enough attention. So you open the box and this is everything that you get. So you've got the Hello Light, which is a cream base like illuminator. And then uh, you have a double-ended brush here and then a bullet tie. I call these like a bullet brush. I don't know what else to call it, but you get that. And then you get um, the Vitality Lip Blush, which is a hydrating uh, lip gloss stain. And then you get the Bye Bye Concealer in the... Uh, how do you say the um, the large size? <laughs> and then you get the YBBB Your Brows But Better is what that stands for. And it's just a um, brow filler. So when they were talking about the, uh, the set on the show, uh, Jamie, who's the creator of It Cosmetics, said that she uses the concealer all over. And right now my skin is in pretty good condition in the way of it's not it's not erupting right now. Um, I did have a big problem. You can see I have a scar right here and then um, I did have some breakout here. Um, just been stressed. And um, so anyway, all that aside, I thought, okay, so I'll try this and um, I do have a problem covering this even with concealer, so I thought I would give the the uh, Bye Bye Concealer a try that's in here and see whether it'll work all over my face. Now, I don't know whether this color is going to work for me or not. I did get um, the Deep, um, but, you know, we'll see. So, I thought that I would try this stuff with you guys on camera, and we'll see how it all works out. And this is the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, and I'm not going to pretend like I've never used this before. I have, but the color that I purchased was a lighter color because it was for concealer, and I believe that that one was the medium. And that's the thing about it cosmetics for me is that... <sighs> It's not really targeted for women of color, if you ask me, at least not deeper tones for sure, because if deep is the darkest that you can get, and I feel like that's going to work maybe for me for my foundation, then, you know, they're definitely not catering to women of color. So the color choices just aren't there. And hopefully at some point she'll expand that. I'm going to go ahead and try this, and I'm just going to use my fingers because... Um, obviously I've been out of pocket and so I haven't been uh, here much to even complete my move so things are all over the place for me so I do really love the consistency of this uh, concealer when I use it under my eyes I really like it with this concealer though less is more so it's better to put 
put it on extremely thin and then build it if you need to. So I'm just going to see in that. I don't know. Oh, wow. One thing that I will say, it's definitely too dark for me, I think. Really good for you. It does feel, um, for me, I'm... I, I, I have dry skin. I, I tend towards the dry side. So for me, anything that feels emollient, I love it. And I just, yeah, I'm like, ooh, give it to me. So for me, this foundation feels really good. But uh, if you have oily skin, you might have concerns about that. And since I don't have oily skin, I can't really... I can't really say one way or the other how it's going to work for you. If your skin is dry or even if it's combination, I would go ahead and try this and if you have issues of trying to cover things, acne scars, stuff like that, I would go ahead and definitely try this because it is awesome. Okay, so with the foundation uh, or with the concealer as a foundation, the coverage is great, the color is not so great. and um, you know, I'm, I'm bummed about it. I'll, I am going to try to do a mix of the under eye concealer color that I had with this and see if I can get it to match my skin tone because I am dying for this coverage, you guys. This coverage is amazing. But, um, yeah, I don't know. As I'm looking at it, I'm thinking maybe it's not so bad, but I'd have to see it like out in the sunlight that's gonna always tell you the truth see and maybe maybe I'm gonna write to Jamie and say Jamie we're here too so also in the kit you get a double ended brush this is a nice nice brush it's it's really soft and uh, I like the way that <clears throat> The bristles are cut. On this side you have a, uh, it's kind of, this would be good for concealer as well as if you wanted to use it as a crease brush, you could do that. Um, I love how soft these brushes are and I do feel like the, the, the IT Cosmetic brushes are really good quality. Um, I like them. I like them a lot. I love the way that they are cut. I love um, the bristles, the number of bristles that you get, and I love how soft they are. I am sorry for that. You guys, I have this thing with really soft things and velvet. It just somehow cuts off my breathing a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't bother me when I'm using it on my face, but if I try to touch it with my fingers, I know I'm silly. It's crazy, but that's me. I'm not a fan of double-ended brushes either because I don't really know how to store these because I can't just put them in with the rest of my brushes and I can't use really a brush guard on it because how am I going to get the brush guard on there really without affecting the bristles somehow so now this is going to be a table brush if I have my choice generally I don't buy these but this was a good um, set and I wanted to try it and I kind of wanted this this brush right here um, which we shall see so, well, not we shall see. I know it's a good brush, but I, you know, I don't know. It'll just sit probably on the table and get on my nerves. This is the other brush that you get. And this one is designed for use with the Hello Light, which also comes in the six-piece set. Here's the Hello Light, and it is an illuminator. And it says... See if we can get that to focus. It says that it is anti-aging radiance cream illuminator with hydrolyzed collagen, peptides, and drops of light technology. So um, this is meant for the high planes of the face, and I'm just gonna put it where I would normally put a highlight just to see what we get here. I don't feel like it's showing up that well. Not with the brush, anyway. Well, there it goes. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to get my lighting together, you guys. I promise. 
So this is not meant to be like BAM illuminator. It's not it's not designed for that. As the light catches it, it's pretty. I like it. And um it comes in a nice little convenient casing and it's got your mirror on there and and a good amount of product. Next thing we have is the Vitality Lip Blush Hydrating Lip Gloss Stain. It's this color and then it creates a stain on your lips that just kind of is a natural a natural tint of your your lips and I, I think that it's probably different for everybody so let's go ahead and try it I probably should have put it on before so that we could see what it was going to do but I did read some reviews on it and I mean it was the majority of the majority of everybody that used it really liked it um so we'll see what happens I do love it though even just the way that it looks right now just just on it looks uh it's a really it's really pretty Part of this is je ne sais quoi a lot of glosses today have that mint in it or some kind of a some kind of a mint whatever either to tingle the lips or to you know tingle them to make them plumper or uh, just for the freshness of it I don't like it I don't like it. I have glosses and I'll use them because I love the color, but I am not a fan of the peppermint. Let's stop it. Okay, that's what I like about this is it just smells just clean. It's not, doesn't have like a an additive or whatever, so I really like that. I love it. And then my brows are already filled in, so I'm not going to um, use this. So this is the YBB, YBBB, Your Brows But Better. And a lot of people have these types of um, brow fillers. So it's, it's kind of the same idea uh, with the, the thinner and it's retractable so that's nice and the color let me show you color is subtle but that's a really good color I like it a lot I like it a lot so there you go and then on the other end is the little spoolie which I find extremely handy. I didn't think I would use that thing as much as I do, but I use it all the time. And I really, I love these things. I love them. When I first started using my Anastasia one, Anastasia, whatever, um, I, <laughs> I went out and bought another one before my other one, before the first one was had run out because I didn't want to be without it because I loved it that much. And then I ended up getting a couple from Tarte and then now I have this one, so hopefully I will always be, I, was all, I will always have one. So anyway, there's that, and that is the kit. And overall, I mean, I like everything. Um, I'm really loving the color that I'm getting with the lip, with the lip stain. I'm sure that the gloss is probably not going to last all day, but the color is supposed to. I think this is a good kit. I got it on QVC on the special pricing where they debut it and then it's you only have like a few hours or something to, to get it on that price. This one actually had also an auto delivery option on it, so in January you'll receive another set. Uh, and it's locked in at the lower price. The only thing, the only thing that I would say is missing uh, from this kit would be a blush. Because if I'm going to 
just go with what's in the kit and really get out of the door, then I am probably going to, I'm going to do my brows, I'm going to do my skin, uh, I might do the illuminator, and I'm going to throw something on my lips, and then I'm going to probably put a little bit of color on my cheeks. I'm not going to use an illuminator without using a blush. So that's my only thing about the kit, uh, you know, but I mean, that's minor. I just think that it would have made it a more cohesive, complete kit if it had had uh, a cheek color in there. That is my review of the It Cosmetics Your Most Beautiful You six-piece set. Um, I do, again, think that it was a good value. So have a great day. I uh, wish you all well. Um, thank you to those of you that uh, have been praying for me and supporting me. Um, it has meant the world to me. So thank you guys. And uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye. The reason that I have been away for so long is because I lost my mom and it, it was and it is the most painful experience I think I know that I've ever been through. And um, I don't think that there is a way uh, that you can describe what it feels like and so anyway I um I just wanted to thank you guys because I know that I had asked for prayers for her <clears throat> and so I just wanted to thank you so much for your support for your prayers and you know for your good thoughts and um, just your consideration. It, it really did mean the world to me. And, um, thank you. So, uh, I just kind of wanted to give an explanation for why I was gone. And for those of you guys that were concerned about my mom, just to let you know, uh, what was going on. And, um, yeah, so I kind of checked out totally on so many things. Uh, I feel or felt like it was time to um, start doing some of the things that I enjoy to see if, uh, not to see, but just to begin to generate better feelings if I can. So... Anyway, uh, just wanted to give you guys an update and to thank you again. And um, that's that. So I don't mean to be a downer, but, you know, I felt like I owed you guys that information. And um, I hope that uh, you have a good day. So thanks. Bye.